So hello, welcome back to The Bunker and welcome to a very special video indeed and a very special person. We're here with none other than Oliver Gavin himself, uh, Chevrolet brand ambassador and racing driver, development driver. Yes. Thanks for coming down. Yes, great to be here and great to bring this car to you. Look at this. So, you know, normally when we stand in front of brand new cars, I have to digest all of the info from a press release. We very rarely have someone who's <laughs> literally been behind the wheel of this car. Uh, first of all, what's it been like developing the first mid-rear engined Corvette? Well, it has been a brilliant journey. It's been a huge, it's been a huge privilege really. Uh -huh. And so, you know, dovetailing this with the racing program um, was, was really a dream. You know, I've raced and competed for Corvette for some 20 years. Amazing. And, and the mid-engine concept was something that's been in the works for some, some time. Uh -huh. But then to finally see it here, and the car in front of you, uh, it's pretty special. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. thrilled to see this car here now, and she's a beauty. Well, it's an honor to have it here. I believe this is the first in the UK. So we're really blown away to have it. Up until this point, I've only ever seen photos of it. And I say this quite a lot on this channel, but the camera isn't doing it justice. It looks <laughs> fantastic. So would you mind just running us through the basics, the underpinnings, the, the chassis, the power drivetrain, etc., and then we'll, uh, Eventually, I think Ollie's going to take me for a drive in it. So yeah, that'll yeah, be cool. yeah. So, so when you look at the front of the car here, we've got the intakes here, two radiators in the front, mm -hmm. and then the air is then coming through and out, and it comes out the front here and then down the side of the car, and the hot air from the radiators then get channeled down the side here uh -huh. and away. But there is actually another radiator in there for extra cooling with this new mid-engine concept. So you're literally splitting hot from. For, cool. Yeah, exactly. And on the other side, we've got another intake, but that's for the engine intake. So you're getting fresh, clean air directly in, nice and cool, perfect for that. And also you get a little bit of the intake noise as well, that's them to that pipe is. back through, which is great for, the, for the, uh, the, 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 that V8. Because this is still a V8, 6.2 uh -huh. litre. It's an LT2, and uh, I mean, it's, uh, she's putting out quite a punch. She's about 470 horsepower here in, in Europe. Okay. So, Fantastic. It's a little bit down on, on, on the European spec, but that's due to the particulate filters and other bits and pieces that we have to have on the car here for EU and, uh, and, and other measures. One of the key things, you know, that, um, you know, the purists, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they were looking at, Corvette has always been front engine. And when the concept was first talked about, which has been, which is many, many year, years mm -hmm. ago, yeah. uh, Zora Arkov Duntov was, was the, the first person to, to look about putting the engine in the middle of the car but it's taken some time for it to come there. And then the, engine, the, the road car engineering group, they looked at it and they went, okay, we've maximized this. We've maximized the front engine concept. Mm -hmm. So to make the next big step with a Corvette, we need to put the engine in the middle. And they've done a brilliant job. Taz Jukta and all the guys there at the engineering group have done a brilliant, brilliant job. And the other thing, if you're a racing guy, yeah, they've yeah, made this say. car just <laughs> brilliant on the racetrack. And it's with, out of the gate last year, she was awesome on the racetrack in the IMSA championship. We won the championship, you know, Fantastic. fair and square, and it was uh, just amazing how many victories we got. Uh, yeah, so it was- it What was, a great uh, start then. Yeah, it really yeah. was. Fantastic. Fantastic. So one of the big reasons we're here, and one of the reasons that we're really fortunate to have this car here so early in, in the first place is Michelin have opened the doors for us, and this car has been exclusively and specifically developed on Michelin tires, right? Yes, it has. What's that journey been like? What's it involve? Well, so the engineers that I've worked with on the racing side are the same guys that develop the tire for oh, wow. this car. That's cool. So what we're, we're working with those same guys at the, the racetrack each weekend, and then we'll go and test the road car. And I've been to the, uh, the Nürburgring and the Nordschleife, and it's just How amazing to go there with this car. Sounds like a terrible job, I mean. Yeah, yeah, really <laughs> awful. Somebody had to do it, but you know. <laughs> yeah. I was with my hand up. So, um, you know, so those guys worked extremely hard making sure that the car and the tire were matched together. And that's been something that, that really everything with this, the ride characteristics of the car and the handling characteristics of the car, they really wanted to work extremely hard and making sure that they could really align that and get the most performance from this new mid-engine layout. At this point, I wanna spin this around and show you the rear because yep. if you think the front looks good, you wanna check out the back of this thing. So while we're halfway around, you know what? I'll stop this. Would you mind? running us through the interior, particularly the driving position. So now we're about 40 centimeters further forward. So if I just open the door here, you'll see, you know, the seat is some 
40 centimeters further forward than the previous generation of car. So that vision wow. that you have when you're yeah. in the car is fantastic. I'm also, I'm, I'm six foot two and I'm sitting with significant clearance above my head. I, I feel like I've got plenty of room in here, but then you look at the layout of, of the car and everything for you here, it's like a fighter jet. Isn't it? You, know, you know, with all of the controls here down the side, you've got the screen here, which we can we can bring up, um, but then the dash and the way that everything's laid out, mm -hmm. but then the, the, the fitment and, and the feel of everything, of the leather on the wheel and here on the interior, it's just that higher quality. With the previous generation, um, the center of, of sort of rotation was around about here where your knees are. Really? And, and now we've moved it so that it's actually right here on your hips. So when you turn the wheel and you start arcing into a corner, uh -huh. you can feel that the car's rotating around you, which for feedback as a driver is just marvelous. So has this also been developed with the intention that, that customers might also drive it on track? Yeah, I mean, this is, the, this is a car, you know, this is the Z51 package. So this has got the up, upgraded brakes. It's also got the Magna Ride suspension on it, yeah. um, which is another thing, which is a, a huge for tuning. Yeah, and uh, being a, on, isn't it? Yeah, and, and just being able to go from that normal on-road, you know, touring mode to then switch into track mode, and it happens just <laughs> like that. It, the, the sampling rate is, is, is a, I think it's something like a thousand times a second that the Magna Ride is sampling the road ahead and, and trying to, 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 to make the car exactly what you want. And, and you know, I, I experienced some of that myself, um, sort of testing this car at the Nurburgring with the Bosch engineer sitting in that seat next to me, yeah. tapping away on the laptop, making those adjustments. And, you know, instantly you could feel the change in the car, the way it would roll into a corner. Really? Or, or, or the way that it would just sit with more poise or just absorb that bump off a curb just that little bit better. So you're feeding back to him and he's feeding back to you. Yeah, he would say, feel this. Corner to corner, he'd go, oh, let's just, yeah, Dial so I, I, would, I would say to him, okay, this is, this is what's happening. This is what I'd like a little bit more of. And he'd go, okay, try this. That's so cool. And it was, it was How extraordinary was to try. Yeah, yeah. I bet. And you, know, you could do that with a diff. You could do it with <laughs> so many different things. It was like, wow, maybe you should jump in the race car with me. We drive <laughs> around, amazing, tune it as yeah. we're going. It was a brilliant, brilliant tool. So never thought I'd say this about a mid rear engined Corvette, but it's strangely practical because you've got this cavity in the back where you yep. can keep the roof yes and in the front as well yeah so the car has a, a frunk and uh -huh. a trunk yep um and so uh, i can show you the front in a minute but, uh -huh. but this is what we've got right now and this is where we can store the roof the, the motor is right there for you to see um 6.2 liter lt2 brand new engine uh the, the the crank case has been lowered with this this engine and so we've we've managed to get that center of gravity even lower and then again that's another thing with the traction in this car uh -huh. you know the way that it puts the power down just amazing one of the first things that i noticed about both driving the, the this road car and the race car traction is just phenomenal and then put that together with a michelin tire yeah. absolutely nailed it naturally aspirated v8, v8 and you're still getting that wonderful sound from it I bet. you know yeah. and that's that's something that again that uh, the engineers worked on to make sure that what you were hearing in the car, yeah. you know, you're getting that real V8 sort of cabin noise. And, you know, cause it's, it's something that, you know, they, they want that passion. Mm. They want people to be passionate about driving their car and uh -huh. being out on the road and experiencing it, you know, whether it's, whether it's the noise or the feel or the, the, the way that the car's driving, everything about it, they, they want it to be that sort of real experience. You really see how far forward and low it sits. Yep. Yep, and that was again. That was that was something that they they've worked tirelessly on, and uh, you know it's it's something that is you know trying to twin it as well mm -hmm. with the gearbox. You know that eight mm. speed yeah. dual clutch uh, gearbox from Tremec have have, uh, have worked very hard on, um, and you know power delivery. Um, you know the shifting is is quick and precise, and you know you you feel that you're constantly engaged with the road. Mm. And then finally the business end yeah <laughs> so i mean this being connected to a naturally aspirated v8 has there been anything particular going on in the uh, exhaust department as well, it were? well yeah <laughs> you know so, so again the noise is is an important thing isn't it and any v8 you're yeah. going to want to hear it so uh -huh. there is that when you first fire it up you, you get to hear that real raw noise 
and then it just the valves just sort of calm it down a little bit. Uh -huh. But you know, it's certainly something that you you know, when you turn it into track mode, yeah. you can really hear it. And Come you can... on, I'm, let's just get out in it. Okay, <laughs> this is too much tease. Let's go. <laughs> okay, it's right. So here we are. I genuinely feel privileged. Oh. To, well, first of all, to be alongside you, sir, not to blow it all of the smoke up your direction, <laughs> but but. Um, you know, this guy, if you follow racing, particularly endurance racing, um, you know, you've been in it, man. You've been really in it. So to be in the brand which you've represented for yeah. so long and have me drive, have you drive me in such an early car, it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's been a real pleasure to, to sort of see this car evolve and, you know, to be part of this mid-engine Corvette story. Um, you know, starting off with driving uh, sort of, I would say prototypes, but cars that were very early on in the in the journey. Mm -hmm. His first impressions that, you, that I got from the car was just like, wow, yeah. this thing is the traction it's got, that change of direction, that the way that the car feels, yeah. and that that connection that you have with the road, the vision that you have. I mean, it's all stuff that you're looking for as, as a driver to really engage with the road and that experience that you have. And now with the cockpit and the way they've got it laid out and this real fighter jet, it really does surround you. So that I mean, you are in your own little driver zone here, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. It's like completely shrink wrapped around you. Yeah, it, it is. And you've got everything right at your fingertips here. You know, whether it's any of the AC controls or whether it's any of the controls with the driver modes, if you wanted yeah. to go from the drive the, through the driver modes, we're currently in tour. You can switch it up. That goes to sport. Gives you a little bit more responsive throttle. Mm -hmm. the, the shifts just get that little bit quicker. Stiffens up the suspension with this Magna Ride system that we've got on the car, which you know it's a thousand times a second that it's, it's adjusting things, which is extraordinary. And then if you go from there into track mode, again that just the, the responsiveness, yeah. the stiffness, the the way that the car responds. And now we're going over a little bit of rough. You can rough, feel it immediately. Yeah, you can. You really yeah. can feel it immediately. But it's it's that that also that instant responsiveness of the throttle and the, the shifting is just that little bit quicker the engine note as well changes and you just feel that it just that sounds VA, a little bit fabulous that v8 it just is like Whoa. oh there it is yeah, it's, <laughs> it's lovely isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. the speed of the ships yeah wonderful yeah and this is all something that the guys at uh, tremic and, and the engineering group and bosch have really worked hard on yeah to, to really oh, give sound lovely yeah to talk to me then about wow <laughs> I mean, that sound brilliant the shift speeds yeah it's, it's just right there instantaneous absolutely rapid so what was the tire to development journey like because this is a Mark tire specifically for this car, isn't it? Yes. Literally a compound, a, a tread layout. It's specifically developed for this stick ring. Yes. So when the journey first started, they recognised that they needed to work super closely with their partners at Michelin, and so they 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 recognised that the engineers that they had on the racing program, that the likes of Lee Willard and Jeff Anderson were integral to making that road car tyre successful and, and fitting this new mid-engine layout. And so when we started working on it, you could see that they're, they're, they're needing to tune the car and the tyre as one. And they, they needed to really fine tune it to the point where they wanted to get the ride just right for, for, for the touring, but also to give the, the, the performance that you, that you really would look for yeah. When you're out, you know, driving somewhat quickly on the road, yeah. but also if you would ever take the car in a, in a real high performance environment onto the racetrack. Yeah. And so I remember going to the Nurburgring, to the Nordschleife, and working with the likes of Jeff Anderson and Lee Willard. And, you know, this was, you know, somewhat late on in the development process mm -hmm. where they got pretty much everything sort of dialed in on what they thought they were going to be using yeah but then we're running through you know the tire pressures what's what's going to be working you know how we can just tune the car with just tiny little setup changes and and then seeing how we can get the most from the, the car on the track and and with that, that that tire car combination you know working through all of the you know all of the different ways that we can just extract the most from it. Great. Sound great. 
I just wanted to stop talking so we could begin. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Um, so, um, wow. Yeah, so it was something. It was something that, that, that Jeff and Lee wanted to make sure that they were bringing all the knowledge that Michelin had mm -hmm. from the racing program over to the road car program. So that was that was something that that and we, it's, it's an ongoing process. You yeah. know, it's something that we know that there's they've got some more tricks up their sleeve uh -huh. that are going to come for the next iterations of this car, uh -huh. and also to help owners of Z51. Corvette Stingrays, right? Um, you know, if they want to go to that next level of, of, of track action, uh -huh. that there might be something else that's going to come in a in right. a, a slight upgrade on on, on, on uh -huh. what they're what they're looking at. So you know, there's, there's, that's the wonderful thing about working with Michelin is that they have so many strings to their bow that they can bring in terms of performance. Yeah. That when you've got a car like the Corvette Stingray you know that there's many steps you can take. Road noise is good as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually quite familiar with this stretch of tarmac and uh, not a lot of cars sound this relaxed yeah. on this road surface. It's, it's, uh, it's something that it's they were nice. really working hard on. And then, and then just in a, in a flick of a switch, you can have it back to track mode. I mean, instantly, right? The difference. Z button here, right? Which is something that you can set that button up so that if you know you're coming up to a little section of road that you like and that you want it, you don't want to have to sit there with with the, the modes. Uh -huh. You can just punch that button and instantly it drops it into sport mode with the setup that you like, Brilliant. with the TC settings, yeah. with, with everything so that's that you your want. Sort of pre-programmed. Yeah, pre-programmed. Yeah, boom, it and it's just instant. bang, done. So do you want to stop and switch? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that'd be great. So it comes only available right now on 4S? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, there is a, um, a winter tyre option mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that you can run on the car in, yeah, obviously this time of year it's not something that you're looking at, but yeah. here we are in June, in, even in the UK. Uh -huh. um, but that is the that is the winter tyre option. Not supposed to be giving any driving impressions, but uh, one thing I will say: the actuation of the gearbox is sublime. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's fabulous. Yeah, yeah, it's great. They've uh, <laughs> they've done a great job on that. Yeah, and um, even even the launch control that we have on the yeah. car, yeah. Uh, you know, that just shortens those shifts up that little bit more and also the, the reintroduction I suppose not necessarily the shift time mm -hmm. but it's the way that it reintroduces the torque so when you're developing a car like that do you uh, have you booked out the ring no. so, so it's just a day is it like a uh, it's so it's industry pool yes um, so you're there on track uh -huh. uh, with everyone else and it's like a two-week period okay um, and Mercedes are there yeah. BMW there all the manufacturers you can possibly think of right and you see the weirdest the wackiest stuff but it's super fun you know yeah, you, you, you get to drive lap after lap after lap right. and there at the launch life it, it is an adventure isn't it every That's lap a special place now you know the, yeah. the track's slightly changing you know it's uh -huh. in a bit of shade or sunlight maybe you've had a little bit of rain or yeah you know and and uh, yeah it's it's Amazing. There's also a weather mode, and um, there's also like a my mode, which is something similar to um, the Z button. Uh -huh. um, but again, you can just tune that to how you how you want it. But I mean, the way that the car sort of wraps around you, the cockpit here, and you've got everything at your mm -hmm. fingertips. You almost forget about that yeah. side of the car because everything's so yeah, it's close all, to you. It's all on you. Thanks so yeah, much. Thank Honestly, you. that was a real privilege. Great to, to experience it for, for the first time. Fantastic and to hear a new car with such a great sounding V8 yeah. as well, which is awesome. Loving that. 
One thing we haven't mentioned yet is you're going to be driving us up the hill at the F Festival of Speed this year. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there um, as well as Ollie Webb. Yep. And uh, yes, yeah, so I think we're going to be taking it in turns uh -huh. up and Fantastic. down, up and down the hill there, and uh, it's going to be great to be showing that off. And uh, I think we're going to be seeing also a right-hand drive version. Oh, really? For the first time? The first time. Fantastic. Yeah. So if you're going, be sure to keep an eye out. If you're not, tune in online and watch this thing go up the uh, hill and look forward to seeing you there. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you. Take care. Ciao.